Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy Franzi back in another Genshin Impact video and today I'm going to be talking about all the upcoming events in Genshin Impact's version 1.2. These are all the upcoming events that will be scheduled for January. Now obviously the current event is the Chalk Prince and the Dragon that is currently going on and that will last another 5-6 days I believe. But after that there are quite a few events that are scheduled before you know February. So pretty much all these events are in January. As you can see, big shout out to at Zeniot and on Twitter. He has a lot of insider knowledge, I suppose. I don't really know how he gets this kind of information, but he most of his stuff he has posted in the past has been pretty much 100% spot on. So while I don't don't take this as necessarily a fact, I do think this is probably very accurate. There are three scheduled events for January, with the first one being the Lost Riches, which starts on January 8th and lasts 10 days until January 18th. The second one is the Hypostatic Symphony. It, it starts on January 16th and lasts to the 31st of January. And then there is the Marvelous Merchandise, which is the 23rd to the 30th. So each of these events lasts, you know, anywhere from a week to 10 days, pretty much. I guess with the Hypostatic Static one lasting two weeks. So for each of these events, they kind of went over these in the version 1.2 program special that they had back in the beginning of December. I think it was December 10th or something. They had a one hour special hosted by the voice of Paimon and Traveler, Aether, and they basically went over all of the events and what's coming, but these are the specific dates. And I just want to quickly go over the what they said in that video because they kind of described and hinted at what's coming in each of these events. So for the first one is Lost Riches, this is the one that is coming the quickest. Obviously they have rewards down here, there is Primo Gems. There are character XP and weapon XP, and also Mora. And then there are these little things which are kind of hard to describe. They're basically sealies, but I'm going to get into that in a little bit second. So as you guys can read in this description right here, basically there is a treasure seeking sealie that for some reason likes you instead of whoever they used to follow around or whatever. And basically he helps you find these coins right here. I'm not exactly sure what they called them, but they're basically coins that you can find there's an area on the map that you have to go to and the Seedly will help you track down these coins. And then once you find these coins, you can go exchange them at the event shop. And at the event shop, this is what they leaked. Keep in mind, it says still in development. This is not indicative of the final release version. But at the same time, I think this is probably going to be what it's like. I mean, it seems very likely. So as you can see, there are 100 Primo Gems and you can purchase this three times. Easy math, 300 Primo Gems seems pretty much the standard for events these days in Genshin. Basically it's about about two poles somewhere around there. So it's pretty standard. And then for the hero's wits or the character XP you can get 10 purple ones. That's unfortunately really really low. I hate to be that guy but that's basically one ley line if I use a condensed resin. So that's unfortunate but hey free is free. Can't really complain that much. Mystic enhancement or I'm drowning in it. I'm sure everybody is. But, gotta love the free Mora, it's 10,000, you can buy it 20 times, uh, 200,000, so, gotta love free Mora. So this is a pretty nice event, it's completely free, no resin required whatsoever, and you get some pretty nice rewards, gotta say. Also, there is one other item in the event shop that is kind of brand new, it's basically your own little Sealy, it follows you around. I mean, if you read the description below, it says, unlike other Sealies, it does not serve to guide, but it simply follows, and follows you, and you're basically their guide. So it's a little different than usual. I think it's just basically a cosmetic. I don't think it will replace Paimon who follows you around, but at the same time, I think it's just a nice thing you can get. It's kind of like a momentum from a memento for completing the events. And as you can see, you can only have one of them. So you can choose between Dayflower, Rose, or Cucuma, I guess you pronounce that. But basically, I believe it's just the color. So the Dayflower is more of a blue, the Rose is more of a red, and the Curcuma is more of a yellow-white. So that's kind of a nice little thing, you can pick whichever color you like the most, and that's basically that event. It's kind of nice. And the next event, which is coming on January 16th, is the Hypostatic Symphony. And this event has not leaked its exchange event shop, if it has one, but it has posted the rewards on the bottom. And like the other event, it pretty much had the rewards in the event shop on that screen. So this is pretty accurate, I think. It doesn't say the amount of Primo Gems. But obviously you can get Primo Gems, so already I love this event. There are some talent books you can grab. I mean, talent books are annoying to farm, so I will take any free ones they can give me. There is a banner that you can get, if, you know, the in-game banners or, or name cards, I believe they're called. Is I mean, it's impossible to tell what that looks like from here, but hey, a free name card is always nice. And then, of course, there's character XP, 
weapon XP, and Mora too. So for this event, they kind of went over what you do. Basically, you fight a version of the cubes that are different than the ones out in the world. They will have some kind of mechanic or gimmick to them. Basically, they're harder, I think. You're, they also said that you are allowed to change the difficulty if for better rewards. So, I mean, choosing the most difficult battle, I'm assuming, will result in the most re rewards. I'm not sure how the reward system will work, but, I mean, the cubes are very easy. I've done, you know, a guide on how to beat them with taking the zero damage. So, unless the gimmick is super difficult, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty easy. But, moving on to the last event, there is the Marvelous Merchandise. And this one starts on January 23rd and lasts one week. This is an event we have had before. It is basically the traveler, not the traveler, I'm sorry, the merchant traveler, I guess if you could describe him as. I think his name is Lieben. Basically comes and every single day you can give him some random junk and he will give you some rewards. And on the next picture that I have, it shows the rewards you could potentially get. Every single day he will offer 40 Primo Gems. This lasts one week. 40 times 7, quick math, 280 Primo Gems. So that is a decent amount of Primo Gems. It's unfortunately less than the other event, but hey, it is what it is. Hard to complain about free things. And as you can see, you can just offer him random junk. It's usually like carrots, flowers, some kind of meat. And in this case, it's very easy things to obtain and you get some pretty decent rewards in exchange. And they did mention one thing and it's kind of this little, you know, bottom of the description thing is rewards may differ in other travelers worlds depending on game progress basically if you do not like the rewards that the that Lieben offers you in your world you could potentially go to another traveler's world or basically another friend's world and get different rewards now I don't know what the other rewards are because this is the only thing they have posted I'm assuming the primo gem count will never change it's basically the things after it like the talent books so say you don't want three green talent books because that's one blue talent book and you need over 20 of them to level up your talents, then, you know, I get it. So potentially there could be other things like character XP. I would probably go for that personally. But yeah, they have some nice things that you can get. It's free stuff. This is a good trade. I mean, realistically, five carrots, five flowers, and five meat for this. Any day, all day, every day for me. <laughs> no, no question whatsoever. But yeah, guys, those are the three events that are coming in January for patch 1.2. Let me know down below which one you are looking forward to the most. Like I said, definitely the Hypostatic Symphony for me, just because I think fighting things and bosses are fun, especially if they have new or interesting mechanics. So definitely that's the one for me. I can see the other ones being, you know, relatively fun. I don't think the merchandise one is going to be many people's favorite, but hey, who knows? I do hope they have some other things, like potentially a Seize the Day event. It's been a little while since we've had those, and you know, it's, while it's not really an event in of itself, it does give a decent amount of Primo Gems and some other goodies, and I, it's always welcomed in my opinion. So I hope they have some of those thrown in here as well. But either way, guys, it looks like there's a decent amount of things coming on, to hold us over until patch 1.3. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the love lately. It's been great, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.